Hello YouTube! So, the Brawl X clone engine has been out for a while now, and I have four tutorials so far, documenting all the stuff you can do with it pretty much. But when I made those tutorials, it was around the same week that it came out, and things have gotten a little bit easier to do. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Brawl X clone engine in an easier way, using a tool that I've programmed and developed myself that is in the future when it's done going to completely automate the entire cloning process. The only thing it doesn't do is edit the module files, which hopefully I can figure out in the future. Um, it also doesn't add custom cosmetics, but I have a tutorial on that. The process is exactly the same. Um, and this is also going to be using the CSS expansion that Phantom Wings made that allows up to 100 characters in the game. Um, this means you don't need the CSS code, you don't need the custom random, the Zelda, Sheik, Zero Suit, Samus, and Samus fixes. You don't need any of those CSS codes anymore, you can take them out. The only thing you need to make Brawl X work is the file patch code that came in the readme. So, the first thing that I want to show you guys is my tool. Now, it's not completely done yet, and I'll, but I'll included in the download anyway it makes everything a ton easier um, this is the tool you can't do anything until you select your folder on your SD card your PF folder now before I get into this I'm gonna go ahead and show you I have a private folder and a codes folder already here the private folder though only has the directories set up it doesn't have anything in it um, you don't you do need right now you do need one thing in it at least you can't just have a blank SD card PF folder you need to have CSS roster dot that but that comes in the download every you just need to drop everything in there so let's let's just go ahead and get started the first thing you want to do is open up the downloads and your PF folder go ahead and put the core files of the clone engine just drag all these folders in there then open up the expansion, drag all the core files in there, merge the folders. Now look, cssroster.dat is there. Okay, that's it. That's how you set up the private folder. Now, we are going to need a fighter folder if you want to be adding fighters. And we need a PSA. Now, it doesn't matter if it's an actual PSA move set or if it's just a model. So this I just downloaded something over Lucas. We're going to be making a Lucas clone in this, and this is actually uh, a Tails model. It's not a it's not a move set. So, but uh, look, let me let me uh, just not get ahead of myself here. Go ahead and get all the V Brawl files for the clone that you're trying to make. We are making a Lucas clone, so we're going to want to grab all of these, copy them, and put them in the folder. Now the PSA, I don't know what your downloads are going to come with, but whatever it's named, name it the name it the right name. So this is going to be fit lucas zero zero since this is going to be a texture and not a uh, move set but it, it works with the move set too if you're using a move set make sure that your move set is named fit and then the character that you're that is the clone that it's going to go over even if you downloaded it and it's like fit boba fett fit whatever you have to have it named the original clone character so this is going to ask me to do this. It's going to put a 2 at the end of it. But after you have that set up, we don't want them to be named Lucas. We want them to be named Tails. So that's where my tool comes in. It also makes everything really handy. Go ahead and open up my tool. Can't do anything. Can't click on anything except for the tools up here. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and select our uh, SD card first. Let's go ahead and click on our private folder and hit PF. Make sure to select the PF folder. 
you'll notice that everything's blank. There's a file layout. Go ahead and uh, we want to add a Lucas clone. Go ahead and add. And it'll show the picture from your SC cell character or common five. Whatever your modified thing is, if you have custom cosmetics for that character, when you reopen this folder later, it'll show the custom cosmetics for that particular slot. Now when I click on this, you can tell, you can see his names here and expanded costumes is here. Expanded costumes means giving him 10, 10 costumes, but they won't be in order with Vbrawl's order. Seabliss reorders everything so that everything's in the right order, but since we're not using Seabliss and it's not compatible with Brawl X, we use the config files to uh, achieve the same effect, but they're not in order right now. So if you don't care about the order of your costumes, they'll be out of order. You can still give them 10 costumes by clicking this and hitting true. But anyway, since we're making a Lucas clone, we have him set up. Let's go ahead and name him Tails. It'll change this here. And you'll notice that when you add a clone, it automatically sets up all the files with the right ID. If I added, say, a uh, Marth clone after this, it would automatically be 40. And then when I delete him, and you can delete clones by clicking Control Delete or highlighting them and going to Edit, Remove Clone, you'll notice that it just goes back to 3F. If you have no clones set up, it automatically sets one up as 3F and then increments from there. This also edits the CSS roster dat for you. You don't even have to do anything to that file. The thing is, though, is it's not done, and it's it puts the clone after random. If you want to fix that, just either hex edit it or open it in the config utility and just put random at the end instead of the uh, clone. So now that we have our clone set up and we can actually go in our SD card and see this, everything's edited in real time. There's no save button yet. I want, I'm want i going to make this all, like, prettied up eventually, but I just want it to work for now. There's no save button, everything's edited in real time, so when you go in here and you see Cosmetic 3F, it's set up. CSS roster, it's set up. See, there's random, there's your clone, there's the clone count. It doesn't add it to the random roster yet. That's something that I didn't find absolutely necessary to do yet. Um, so this is all set up. Go ahead and go to Tools and Mass Renamer. Now, where you need to make a folder that has your character's fi uh, fighter files all in it. We named our fighter folder Tails. So when you go ahead and hit that, all the files that are in there are fit Lucas. So just go ahead and name it Tails. And when you rename it, it'll say done, and everything will be named the way it's supposed to be named. Everything will be named perfectly. And if you were to open up the fighter folder, everything would already be named, everything's done. The only thing now left to do is to put everything on the SD card. And, oh, well, actually, we need to uh, get the module file for Lucas, his X module. And edit it so he's in the right slot. So go ahead and open it up in Brawlbox or whatever you want to open it in, either Module Editor 3 or Brawlbox. Open up Section 8. And change this little these um, numbers right here to 3F or the name the ID of your clone. Save it and rename this FT underscore and then the name of your clone, which is Tails. It doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase or anything like that. Open up your SD card and put it in module. Go to Fighter and go ahead and put in Tails. And I already have my code set up to only have the file patch code. That is the only thing on this code set. And those are the only things we need. Let's go ahead and just put these on our SD card. Save it. And we should be good to go. I may be forgetting something, hopefully not. But let's see how this goes. And 
Oh, you know what we forgot? We did forget something. I do this every tutorial. I forget one thing. Since we made a new SD card, we need to change it the hook type. Make sure it's AX next frame if you're on Dolphin or it won't start up with any codes loaded at all. And BrawlX likes AX next frame anyway, so you won't have to worry about that. Just make sure it's on AX next frame when you're playing with BrawlX. There we go. There's our Lucas clone right there. If we click him, see how it loaded everything already. Tails, tails, tails. Go ahead and see if he works. See if, uh, yep, it loaded tails. So you'll see. So you see, my uh, tool that I made makes this entire uh, process a lot easier. And if you're using a move set file, just make sure the f the fit move set is named the original clone's name, and that's all you have to do. It'll rename everything when you use the RAS mass renamer, and uh, yeah. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. If there's any questions, I'll answer them in the uh, comments, and uh, I'll include a download to the clones tool and a link to the a link in the description to the forums. All right, that's it.